Hi, I'm Topic. Today I'm going to show you how to build a business website in under 45 minutes. The type of website we are going to build today is a business website. The site will be based on a popular software program called WordPress, which is currently running millions of websites around the world. You can build any type of website you want, as I'm about to show you. As for this tutorial, we will be building a business website like this with all your business information. Keep in mind, I have done this dozen of times before, but you don't worry if you need more help. You can contact me anytime from the description below. If this is your first time building a website, it might take you longer than 45 minutes to get your site running. But with this step by step tutorial, I'm sure you'll be able to get it done pretty quickly. Let's get back to the video. Step 1 is to register your domain name. The first thing we need to do in order to build a website is to register a domain name. I personally use GoDaddy for my domain name purchasing. They are the biggest domain registrars in the world and they offer great prices on a solid customer support if ever needed. So this is GoDaddy. You'll find the link to GoDaddy from the description below. And it will look something like this. But don't worry if it looks something different for you as they often change graphics of the page around. But the main functionality is always the same. You are going to see a box where you can search your desired domain name. So you enter your domain name in the box and choose if you want to be a .com or .net or whatever. Then press search domain button. Next, it will tell you does the domain name is available or not. Now if the domain name you want is available, you can select it and click the button continue to cart. Now, if the domain you want is already taken by someone else, GoDaddy will suggest some alternative domain or you can just pick something else. Once you found something you are happy with, click the select button and put it in your shopping cart and click on continue cart. Next, you will see a series of screen. They will ask you to add any optional access. You can select or you can keep it for later. Next, you will have a cart where you can choose how many years you want to register your domain for. You can select 1 year, 2 year or anything you want. And then continue the checkout process. The next page will ask you to register a GoDaddy account. So enter a username, password and 4 digit pin number and make sure you write this down and keep it somewhere safe. Now once you are finished click on create account button and it will take you to the payment page. Now here you have to enter your billing information and choose to pay with your credit card, debit card, gift card if you have one or a paper. Choose which payment method you prefer to use and follow the on screen instruction as you purchase your domain. Congratulations, you are the owner of your own domain. You will receive confirmation within few minutes of purchase. Now step 2. Setting up your web host account. Every website needs to be connected to the internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week so the people around the world can see it. And in order to do that, you need a web host. I personally use and recommend Bluehost as the best company to host the site. They are one of the biggest hosts around and they have received many awards for the top notch services and having great support staff available around the clock. Once you go to the Bluehost, you'll see a page like this. Click on the hosting from the menu, select WordPress hosting. Now if you are just starting out and you are only planning to build a single real estate site, then you will need is the smallest plan which is a standard hosting. If you plan to build more websites, then you may want to look at bigger plans or reseller account if you are looking to build multiple sites. Most of us would just start with the standard plan. So click on the select button under the standard plan, you will have a screen asking for the domain as we have already registered domain, go to I have a domain name section. Then you need to enter your domain name. So just type that in and click on next. The next page will ask you to register a Bluehost account. Here you need to fill all the required details in order to register. Then just check all your details are correct and of course, remember to write it down and keep it somewhere safe. You can choose how long you would like to pay for hosting. You can pay for 1 year, 2 year, you can pay more than in advance, take the advantage of even more savings. It makes no difference which payment option you choose, so it's up to you. 
Now click on submit button and follow on screen instruction to complete your purchase and you'll get an email from Bluehost with all your setup information. Congratulations, your web hosting has been purchased. Now step 3. Step 3 is to connecting your domain with your web host account. You're gonna need is to connect your domain and your hosting account connected with each other. Don't be scared of technical jargon. It's really very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step right now. First, log in to GoDaddy using the username and password you made in step 1. Next to domains, click manage. Select the domain name, click setting and select manage DNS. On the screen, you'll see a section named servers. Under that, click change. Under choose your new name server type, select custom. Next, you need to open the welcome email you received from Bluehost. Scan the Bluehost email until the section that tells you what your web host account name servers are. This gonna be two name servers, NS1, NS2, which stands for name server 1 and name server 2. Now you just need to copy and paste each name server from Bluehost email to GoDaddy set name servers page. Make sure that there are no extra spaces at the beginning or at the end of the name server or they might not work. So copy and paste both of them carefully type in. It should look like the one in the video. Your name servers would be slightly different from mine but don't worry. Once you entered in both name servers, click save. That's it. Your domain is now connected to your web host account. Now, let me just explain something about this process. The domain could sometimes take a few hours to move over to the new name server. It could sometimes happen instantly and sometimes it takes 24 hours. You might have to wait for a few hours before you go on to the next step. But just check domain and if you see something like this then you are good to go. Now step 4. How to install WordPress on your website. Now you have your domain name, web host, all set up and ready to go. Next I am going to show you how to install WordPress. WordPress is a free platform that is commonly used by bloggers and site owners from many years. It is basically allows you to build a website without needing any coding or design to go. Bluehost makes it very easy to install WordPress. So now I am going to take you to the installation process. First, you need to log in to your website control panel. You can do this by opening up your browser window and type in your new domain in the address bar with a forward slash and the word C panel. So it's gonna look something like this www.yourdomainname.com C panel. Now obviously you'll replace the word yourdomainname.com with your domain name. You are asked to enter username and password which you can find in the Bluehost email. So enter those and you'll be taken to your control panel which will look something like this. There are lots of things you can do in your control panel. You can set up email account, check your site visitor statistics, upload files and a range of other things. But for this tutorial we just focus on setting up WordPress. So scroll down until you see software section and select Subtricles Apps Installer. Click on WordPress image and then click the install now button. Now you just need to fill in the few details for your site, choose the domain to install it to. In the next field, in the field next to domain, you can enter a subfolder such as blog or leave it blank if you want the site's main page to be the blog. If necessary, you can edit the email address, username and password for the new WordPress installation. They can be anything you like, but remember again, write them down and keep it somewhere safe. Then click on the install button. You then see a confirmation page, so just read and finish installation and that's it, you are done. You can now visit your domain and you'll see a standard WordPress installed on it. Congratulations, you now have a basic website running. See, it really wasn't that hard, is it? Next, I'll show you about the real estate theme, where to get it, how to purchase it, how to configure, customize it and use it. Step 5 is to choose a business theme. You can choose any theme you want. But for this tutorial, we will go for templating themes iBusiness. Now let's purchase iBusiness theme. So this is templating.com. 
and it will look something like this. But don't worry if it looks something different for you as they often change graphics of the page around. But the main function is always the same. From top menu, click on themes. Here you will get all the premium themes from Templating. You can explore all the themes and select any theme which suits your niche. But for this tutorial, we will select iBusiness theme. Once you found something you are happy with, hover over the themes image and click on view details. Here we have all the specification of iBusiness theme. Click on get it now in order to purchase the theme. Now if you are just starting out and you are only planning to build a single business website, then you, all you need is a standard license. If you plan to build more business websites, then you may want to look at developer license or club memberships if you are going to use a theme on multiple domains. Most of you would just start with a standard license. So click on the add to cart button and standard license. You will have a pop up showing you the product in your cart and select your preferred payment method. You can make payment with PayPal or make payment with your credit debit card. It makes no difference which payment options you choose, so it's up to you. For this tutorial, we will use card payment. Click on secure checkout button. Now you'll have to create a quick account by entering all the details. Now here it will ask you for the billing information. Follow the on-screen instruction to complete your purchase. Once you successfully complete the purchase, you'll get an email from Templatic with all your account information. In order to get access to your purchase theme, you need to log in to the Templatic members area. Go to templatic.com and click on my account from the menu. Next, you need to open up the welcome email you receive from Templatic. Scan the Templatic email until the section that tells about your account information. Log in using the username and password as the email from Templatic. Once you log in, here's the dashboard. Click on my downloads tab. Now go to my theme section and click on download button next to the theme. Now under the theme section click on download button in order to download the theme. Step 6. Theme installation and configuring your business website. So now you have your domain name, web host and the theme all set up and ready to go. Next I am going to show you how to install the theme and configure your business website. To log in to your admin side of the website, you'll need to add forward slash WP admin to the end of your domain name. And see, this is the login page for you to enter username and password that you created while installing WordPress. Now, once you log in, you'll see a dashboard. This is where you can manage your website from. It is good to familiarize with this interface as you are going to use this a lot when managing your website. On the left hand side, you can see a lot of submenus. For now, we just focus on setting up our business theme. If you click on the appearance and themes, it will take you to the themes section. From here, you can add new themes and see all your existing themes. To add our business theme you have purchased, click on add new button at the top left. Now click on upload theme button. Choose the zip file of the theme we have downloaded earlier and click on install now button. Once you click on install now button, the zip will begin to upload and the installation will take place. Once it is done, click active button, activate the theme. Now a pop-up will appear and it will ask you for the license key. You can enter license key in the pop-up or you can enter the key here as well. Next we need to open up the theme download section to get the license key. Go to templatic.com, click on my account. Then my download tab. Go to your particular theme, which is our business in our case, and here's the license key. Now you just need to copy and paste it here. Make sure that there are no extra spaces at the beginning or at the end of the key, or they might not work. So copy and paste it over and carefully type it in and click verify button. Theme will get activated, and now you need to install sample data. Simply click on install sample data and it will add sample content to the site. Once it is completed, visit the front end from here and you will found your business site running. If any time you wish to make any changes to your website, go to your backend, appearance, customize. You will find numerous options in order to make changes in your site. You can change your logo of your site, 
you can change your site's identity, you can change color of your site, background settings and many other tweaks. You can manage your website from the front end as well. Go to your website and you will find a visual composer tool at the top. From here you can make required changes of the website. You can customize the color, you can customize the typography, you can set different type of sections. There are lots of features available with this theme which you can learn from theme sales page. Everything in WordPress is self explanatory and it has been designed to be easily used. You will find tons of documents about everything you want to do with this site. I encourage you to play around and get very familiar with how the everything works. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you will be able to follow this video and get your website up and running. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, please contact from the link below and I'll do my best to answer.